Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and I'm back to do another unboxing. We've got another vintage baby, a Ashton Drake, and it is part of the collection, um, you know, same collection of the Grace baby I got, which is God bless little Grace. This one here is part of the collection. There is five to the collection, but there's only three that I really wanted. Um, the other two, I don't really care for the look of them, really. Uh, one is okay, but I just, I want to stick with just, um, you know, the three. So I do have the third one coming. I was so happy that I got my hands on that one. That one's going to be the best of all of them will be that when I get that one, because that's like the hardest one to get. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and open, but I just wanted to show you how nicely they box this. The address is on this side, so I just have it turned but they put the box within a box because I do believe it does have the Ashton Drake box um, that the baby came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out for just a second and open this up and get that out and that way you guys don't have to watch me do that. Okay, so it wasn't as bad to open it as I thought. It was a slice across the top, but they did have it packaged good. They've got the packaging in here and then packaging all around inside of here and then the box. And the box looks like it's in, again, pretty good condition. I'll show you guys. There's nothing else in here. Oh my God, another baby that smells good. Okay, see, then it's gotta be that these babies, somebody was telling me that they uh, they have a nice smell to them because I guess Ashton Drake, and that's what I thought because they have a baby smell to them, like a baby powder smell, almost like a new baby. Um, somebody was telling me, I forget your name, dear, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I wish I knew it. I'll put it up on the screen. She was telling me that... Um, some of the Ashton Drakes, they give them that scent. And I was thinking, but being that old, you wouldn't think, because it's from the early 2000s, um, I wouldn't think that the smell would still be there. But I suppose if you kept a baby in a box like this, and you really didn't do much with it, I'm not sure on this one if this one was uh, played with or anything. I think this one's going to be a little bit more dirty and have to be cleaned up. We'll see when we open it. Not sure. But um, maybe they just hold that scent for a long time, she was saying. I don't know. Being vinyl, maybe it holds longer. I'm not sure because it's all vinyl. But all right. So here is the box. And we'll go ahead and open it. And I will put the baby on the boppy here. Once I get open, I'm going to do the same thing, do a little bathing and stuff. So there we go. I hope you guys can see this good. I'm going to go ahead and open. Do I have it the right way? Yes, I think I do. All right, you guys. So who we have here. And let me... God, it just smells so good. All right. I just want to make sure that you can see the face on this one. And we'll take the wrapping off so you guys can see. But this one is, look at you guys. It's so tired, little Taylor. This is a boy of the same collection. And yes, he smells really good too. Like the smell is so nice. It smells so good. And I just wouldn't think that for a um, old Ashton Drake. You know, I just wouldn't think that. But let me show you guys everything I take it out. They have them in a little sailor outfit. It isn't his original outfit. Of course, all they ever came in was the booties and the hat, I believe. And I don't know if that's underneath, but I'll have to check. But this one now has the paperwork. The other one had just the little thing around the hand. So I knew it was Ash and Drake on the neck and all that. Um, the little wrist thing, this was around the baby's hand on the other one. So I knew I had that and I knew um, Grace was right. But yeah, it's so tired, little Taylor, number three. And this has got, I'm not gonna even open this, I don't think, I think it's been taped, but that's the certificate of authenticity and the different things about it. Not sure if the date is in the paperwork, um, but I do know it's early 2000s, I believe. It is vintage. So we'll just set this aside and we'll get him out. Oh, he's a big yawner. Yeah, he tired. He had a long trip, and this one kind of got lost out there, you guys, for a couple days. Well, not lost, but um, the thing was saying that it was um, uh, in transit. It was supposed to be delivered a couple days ago. It was actually supposed to be delivered before Grace, um, but it just got stuck. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take off all the strings on here, but I like the little outfit they have on him. Oh, my God, is he ever cute, you guys adorable look at that yawn oh my gosh he's so tired and then they got they sent a passy and a clip with it which is kind of cute it doesn't really stay it's probably just for looks we're gonna have to find him something that will work as a passy but uh yeah that's not gonna work for him but adorable so we'll take off the hat he does have the glued hair like the other one 
he does have that and uh, we'll take off his little outfit here. I don't want to set him on the boppy quite yet. Um, I'll just put it down just be, until I clean him up. He does have to be cleaned up a little bit. There's a little bit of spots on him. He is the soft one, soft body. So we're going to get him undressed. And, of course, I am going to wash up all of this, of course. The pacifier, everything. Uh, the clothes. Wash all that up. Only because it's probably been sitting in storage in a long time in this outfit and stuff like that. So you just want to get them clean. But, uh, yeah, he... Doesn't feel um, real sticky. Maybe this one, yeah, this one actually feels a little bit more sticky than the other one. The other one was less sticky because it was just more new, like, I don't know. But this one does definitely feel sticky. So this one got the really old diaper on. So, you know, I mean, look at that old, old diaper. He does have his little tag on his ankle, says Taylor. And, uh, yeah, he's got this old diaper and he's got his little boy parts. But, yeah, we're going to give him a little bath look around you can just see there's just a few little spots on him that need to be cleaned up so we're going to get him cleaned up you see a little bit on his face and stuff like that so we'll get him cleaned up looks like the eyelashes are better than hers were though so i could probably leave his alone hopefully i'll be able to do that so we're going to get him cleaned up get all his stuff clean yeah he feels very sticky i remember um cena saying uh when she got grace her grace was really sticky so yeah, this one does feel very sticky and I suppose they get sticky like that when they are um, you know, stored for so long like that. But I'm gonna get him washed up, cleaned up and we'll come back and I'll have him on the boppy and then we'll get him in a cute little outfit. All right, you guys, so we got Taylor all cleaned up and like I said, he wasn't super dirty. All the little spots did come off of him so it was probably just surface dirt um, just from sitting so long or whatever, dust and stuff like that. But he was very sticky. Um, I noticed when she had said that about her, uh, Grace was sticky and the other one wasn't as bad, I don't think. This one was more sticky. So I am definitely going to baby powder this one because he feels good. He definitely feels softer since I cleaned him. I just used the Dawn dish soap, the blue one, uh, to clean him up. I didn't emerge him because, you know, you don't want to get a lot of water inside him. So I just lightly washed over him with a wash rag, the soap, and then just lightly rinsed him uh, with a sprayer, you know, just quickly like that. Um, but uh, got him really, you know, nice and clean, though. I did scrub him up and get him clean. But uh, look at how tired he is. Like I said, he traveled for a while. He was supposed to be here like four days ago. So he's just super tired. So he's got that big yawn going. And I don't know, like I said, how we're going to do a passy. I'll figure out maybe I can find a bigger one that will go in there or something like that. But I love him. He's just so cute with that big yawn. I love babies with expressions. So we're going to go ahead and start powdering him. Just clean him up a little bit here. He is anatomically correct, so I do have to keep that part covered we'll do the best we can if it um, shows I'll have to just uh, block that out but um, yeah we're just gonna powder him and so far I do like him a lot um, like I said he just had a little bit a uh, little bit of dirt just from the age and stuff like that and and uh, probably just from storing um, but I think he is very very good again for an older baby um, still smells phenomenal I like the smell of him so they must really hold that smell a long time they must because, yeah, he still smells like the other one. And he was even, like, probably stored, I don't know, somewhere where uh, they can get, you know, more dust. Or, even though he had a box on him. I don't know. I don't know how that happens, but I'm just going to be doing some in his face and stuff like that. And then we'll comb it. I don't care about the little bit of uh, powder. Like uh, Cena was saying, even with hers, I'm keeping this, you know, this doll. I ain't getting rid of it. So a little bit of powder ain't going to hurt nothing because all you do is just wash it off. It's just powder. It ain't going to hurt the vinyl. It's just helping to soften this a little bit just because of the age and everything like that. And he's, you know, here to stay. He's, I'm not getting rid of him. So, um, you know, it's just for me and what I like and what I enjoy. So then, of course, you know, it's okay if I want to powder and stuff like that on him because it doesn't matter. And I highly doubt this would hurt vinyl, baby powder. It didn't hurt her. It didn't hurt my grace. Um, and, uh, you know... It's, I don't see why it would. I've powdered some of my expensive vinyls just because when I got it, it just, you know, had a little bit of a smell to it or whatever just from, um, you know, somebody's home or something like that, and I would powder it just a little bit, stick one of those wafers in, and it's never, ever ruined anything, and those are the more expensive ones, and it didn't do anything to it. So, like I said, I think it's okay, and I don't mind. There's his booty. But, yeah, I got him nice and cleaned up. He's good, so I'm happy about that. Unfortunately, I see that he didn't come with his little blue hat or the uh, booties. That's how they come, this one. 
Like Grace came with her little white booties and the pink hat. He didn't come with any of that. So unfortunately he didn't have that with his. And there were other ones that I could have, whoops, that I could have looked up and got, but the prices were higher. Um, you just, you know, I'm tr I was trying to get the best prices too on this cause they can be kind of spendy. I was trying to get the best prices and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I probably could have found one maybe around this price. I don't know, but I probably not as, you know, didn't have the paperwork, didn't have the box. There was a reason why I ended up with this one over the other ones that I could get. And, you know, I'm sure that if I would have looked longer, maybe I could have, uh, but I just liked the seller and I liked um, just, you know, how decent he looked for age and all that. So some of them, you know, don't have the hair, the hair's falling out and all that. And I'm glad he had the hair. But yeah, like I said, I could have searched a little longer and possibly found one that had the little blue hat in that, but I'm not even using it right now on the other one. So yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get a diaper on him, and then I'm gonna put him in this blue onesie, because I like them in the onesies. I'm gonna keep the babies in the onesies. The girls are in the white right now. Well, the girl, um, so far, Grace, she's in just the white one I put her in when I first showed you guys. Um, I might end up getting maybe a pink one for her, and maybe a different color for the other baby uh, onesies, just because they're gonna be more of an outfit. This is more of a wrap outfit one. So I'm gonna put him in this with the striped blue and white hat, because see, that's why he came in, just a little pair of white socks. That's how we're gonna dress him, but I do need to get him a diaper here. And I wasn't prepared, I forgot to get a diaper out. So that's okay though, at least they're just right below me here. So. I'm gonna get a little diaper on him here. This is a newborn loves paw control, I believe it is. So we're gonna put this on him. Trying to keep his little boy bits covered. <laughs> See, yeah, we gotta keep that covered. Even though you're a doll, YouTube doesn't like that stuff. They don't, and it's fine, you know, I understand. So we got enough nasty stuff going on in the world, right? I don't need to add to that to a, somebody out there enjoying seeing dolls. <laughs> but yeah, he feels a lot better now, a lot better. So we can remove the blanket. We're going to put his wristband on, but we'll get him in his little socks and stuff first. Um, his uh, paint job is really great. His toe tipped and fingertips are great with the white tips. He's got still the nice paint on him. It's all pretty light. I may reborn them a little bit just to add a little bit to them, or I may leave them just because they're vintage and sometimes you want to leave things, sometimes you want to uh, add some stuff to it. It wouldn't hurt them. I mean, I'm keeping them. I'm not going to be letting go of them to sell them or anything for any kind of value or anything. That's not why I bought these. Um, I bought them just because when I seen it on Cena's channel, she's the naughty one, <laughs> the naughty one that got me to want to get uh, Grace. And, uh, and then I saw him and the other one I really wanted and uh, yeah, it's her fault. I blame it all on her. <laughs> um, let's see, which leg do I have it on, Grace? Yeah, we'll put it over on this side. I wanna keep the, the bracelet thing to um, the same leg. So yeah, so you see little Taylor, that will stay his name, Taylor, and uh, Grace will stay Grace. And then when you see the third one I got coming, that will stay that. So we're gonna just comb his hair and then get the hat on. And after that, I know um, the same person was telling me too to be careful because it's glued hair. And because it's glued hair, you wanna be careful combing and stuff. I'm not gonna be doing videos on these babies like I do my other ones. This is just the video of the unboxing. And then that is it. That is it, you guys. And then I'm gonna put them up on the shelf. Um, you guys would have already seen my room tour. So you've seen where Grace was, um, you know, in there and that's, he's gonna go up there too. That's where I said I was gonna put my vintage and you can see that they do you know shed some of their hair when i'm doing this you see they can but this will be the only time that i will be combing it i'm going to put the hat on him and then he's just going to sit up on that shelf i'm just trying to get this little the little snarl there um so he's just going to sit up there so i won't be combing the hair anymore after today but yes you see that they do shed because it was glued in and it is old and i don't want to lose too much of it so i'm being very gentle with this brush because i don't want to lose his hair. I want him to keep his hair. So we're gonna hope that we hold on to this hair. And so far, so good. <laughs> he is just so cute. But yeah, I don't care, you know, we're not gonna get this perfect hairdo going. 
We're just gonna do the best we can, just for now. Um, Cause yeah, he's lost a lot of it here. I see a lot of it coming out. And that's okay, like I said. It's just to comb it real quick, just to get his little hat on him. And then after that, we're not doing any more. This one actually shed a lot more than Grace did. Where's his little towel? Oh. So, but he still has it. He still has his hair, thank God. <laughs> so, and I'm like I said, I'm not gonna do too much more. I just wanted to comb it down, get off any of the loose hairs on him. And then turn him back this way. And maybe we could give him just a little hairstyle without, oh, there's so much in this brush, yeah. This one's shedding a lot. Yeah, this one the glue isn't holding, but again, it's pretty old, so I'm not worried about that. Again, I'm not gonna be doing videos on him after today. He'll just be up on my wall for display, for just that beauty, you know, beautiful display of my vintage babies, my, uh, and my um, other babies that are fantasy. I don't do nothing with the fantasy babies either. But we'll just kind of give him just a little bit of a boy look here very gently like i said i'm trying to be as gently as possible but it's not <laughs> working because this i mean this hair is glued you know it's glued so can't expect much that's why ash and drake doesn't do that anymore but i wanted the vintage one you know so but at least he still has his eyebrows and everything too so see we'll just keep the hair like that how i did it whoops get rid of that Okay, guys, I'm sorry, my phone died. I don't even know what I was last saying. I had to let it charge for a little bit, come back on. But I was just combing his hair, and like I said, I'm not going to do really anything with him now, so it doesn't matter, um, you know, the uh, glued-on hair like that, even though some fell out and stuff like that. I'm not worried about it, only because... I'm going to get a little more baby powder under his neck. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not worried about that because these are going to be display babies. I'm not really doing nothing with them, you know? Like, he's got that little powder in his ear now. That's okay because he was a little wet. I'm not worried about that. I am going to give him the hat and the uh, girls are going to wear the bow just sitting up on the shelf. But isn't he sweet with that yawn, you guys? Oh, I love him. He's got that big yawn. I've never, ever had a baby with a yawn like that. So I think it's just so special. And he's so soft and nice now. And like I said, he's got a very nice baby scent to, you know, still to him. I think I was just showing you his hair. I don't know. There's the back. I'm just going to leave it like that. Like I said, he is losing some of it. So we're just going to leave it alone and put the hat on. But it's still cute. Very, very cute and still awesome to have. And like I said, I wish I had his original hat, but this is still gonna be darling because it's blue and white. So I'm still gonna like it. And so we're gonna very gently put his hat on. That tag had to be sticking out, didn't it, buddy? <laughs> it is a newborn hat. Get that in like that. And uh, we'll let his little ears show kind of wanted some of his hair to show. Maybe I can get some to come down through the hat there. Just wanted a little bit of his hair to show through like that. It doesn't have to be anything special, but like I said, we'll just do that little hat for him and we'll keep it on to, just to protect his hair. Like I said, he's not going to be played with anymore. Uh, we're going to get this on him. I think I'm going to do the bag trick this time. Should have used it last time with this one because they're a little harder to get on these babies, but this might go on him easier just because of the type of onesie it is. Um, that it just, you know, but that is much easier. Oh, that's so much easier. I wish I would have done it with Grace because hers was so sticky and hard to get on. So I think I got this bag too far up. All right, and then we'll just come over here and we'll do the same thing over here. And it's only because just to get it on him easier because he's got the bent arms, bent legs. I love the look of these babies. They are just so cute. And like I said, there was five to the set, and I can kind of show you a picture of it. I'll stick it up on the screen there, of the five. And um, two of them I'm not real crazy about. So um, I'm not going to get them. I, one of them maybe was okay, um, but I'm not trying to get, I just want the three. I don't need all five. Um, so, and you'll know the other one when I get it, which one I got out of those five. Um, you'll see the other one that I, I got. Um, but yeah, I'm just really, really happy with my purchases, uh, the prices, because I did, you know, I was um, making offers and, you know, they accepted them and I was so happy because I made pretty low offers. I thought, you know, they were going to, because you always want to start low and work your way up, 
And I just thought, there's no way that they're going to take my offer or whatever. And they took the first one. So I'm thankful for that. And I mean, it was still a decent price. You know, it's not like they, like I asked if they would take a dollar for them. You know what I mean? But um, where does that one go? I think I did something wrong here. Hang on again. Got to love these wrap uh, onesies, right? Got to love these. Where does that one go? Oh. Actually, I think, okay, I think I know where it goes now. This one goes here, like that, and then we go like this. And that one is broken, that button, but that's okay. I forgot about that, but it, it still looks like it's together, but there. Aw, he looks so nice in the blue. He really does. He's adorable. I'm going to give him a little lovey. I'll be taking photographs of him and all of that. He'll get a lovey, and I'll see if I can find some type of pacifier, but although I like the look of him yawning, you know, so you can see that. I don't really want to always cover the look of that. It's super cute. But again, I'm very happy with the purchase. I hope you guys like him. Um, if you are interested in getting these, you know, look on eBay um, online. Just go online and search. Um, the one is called God Bless Little Grace. This one is called So Tired Little Taylor. So you can look them up or whatever and try to find the collection like that and get your hands on them. If you want to, because I know Dee was saying that she really liked that um, God Bless Little Grace. And I was telling her, you can still get that. You still can. You just got to look them up. And Dee, if you do look one up, you know, if they have the offers where you can make an offer, make an offer because they usually accept it right away. I was shocked, even though, I mean, it still was a, you know, a decent price for it. I just mean it was good. I mean, it was under a hundred bucks. Let's just put that with tax and everything. He was under a hundred and Grace was just a little over a hundred. So I'm saying, but that's still a really good price because they were asking like almost double that. So I'm surprised that they took my first offer. So definitely send offers to them and uh, see if you can get your hands on if you like that little grace or if anybody likes this one, look for this one. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Little Taylor, we'll give you guys a kiss Mwah! and welcome him to our nursery. We love you. I love you guys as well. Mwah! And re always remember, which I kind of said it backwards, but always remember who loves you the most. God, God loves you the most. All right, we're going to get going. Everybody take care and God bless.